Tonight, investigators in Seattle, Washington, will try to figure out what caused a television news helicopter to crash moments after taking off this morning. It happened just feet away from Seattle's iconic Space Needle. Two people inside the helicopter, jointly owned by Como 4 TV and King 5 Television, died at the scene, but several other people escaped unharmed. The television news industry is a tight-knit community, so the death of photojournalist Bill Strothman and pilot Gary Fitzner is being felt across the country. Today, KXAN's Kevin Schwaller spoke with one reporter living now in Austin who flew with Fitzner for years. It makes you realize, don't take for granted today. Don't take for granted your family, your loved ones, because um, you don't know, you know. You're not uh, assured of tomorrow. Eric Kirchner started getting text messages about the crash while working in his yard. Those messages coming from friends and family on the West Coast. Eric moved to the Austin area within just the past few days. He worked as a traffic reporter in Seattle and says he took to the air regularly with pilot Gary Fitzner. He called Gary lucky because of how often they found news from the air when lucky was flying. Eric wants anyone watching the video of the crash to think about his friend. Gary was a wonderful human being. He was a great man, a great father, great husband, and uh, I had the privilege to be his friend and, and to say that he was mine. Kirshner had already planned a trip to Seattle. Now he says that trip may include the funeral for his friend. Reporting in Austin, Kevin Schwaller, KXAN News. Digging deeper, that helicopter in Seattle was taking off from right in the heart of the city, and it made us wonder about heliports here in the Austin area. According to FAA records and piloting website airnav.gov, there are 17 dedicated heliports in the Austin area, including ones in Georgetown, Round Rock, and in San Marcos. The dots in red are all hospitals, like Dell Children's Medical Center and UMC Brackenridge. There are also permitted heliports at places like the Barton Oaks Office Park, and the Embassy Suites downtown, as well as the Omni Barton Creek Resort. You'll remember during the Formula One races, the city allowed for temporary helipads to shuffle visitors to and from the Circuit of the Americas. We called the Omni Barton Creek, where workers said the helipad was actually built on their driving range and only used during F1.